Hello and welcome to today's video. We are at the circus. So we're at Ring Lane Brothers and Farm in Bailey. It has returned. We were in the last time it was here, which I think was 2017. And that was when they had animals. There's no more animals. It is back. Are you excited? Yeah, he's excited. Okay. And it's about to start. So that's our cue. <laughs>
Okay, so we are back home. Um, the circus, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey, I can't remember the full name. Um, it was fantastic. I really didn't know what to expect. I think when we went the last time, it was 2017 and Ryder was like a little over one and there was animals and that was when it was ending. Um, and it was fantastic. I mean, I thought it was, the acrobatics were great. I really liked that it was an international show. They showed the name of the act and then what country they were from. There was like Cuba, Ethiopia, um, uh, Argentina. They were just everywhere. So it was really, really great. Ukraine, just the, the acts were great. I thought um, the ringmaster, Aria, the way she sang, everything was just really well strung together. I think it was a really great show. So we invited Ryder's best friend and his little brother and their family. So it was an eight-year-old and a four-year-old. They loved it too. So we, um, Ryder really, really loved it. I was really almost surprised how much Ryder was really into it. I do think getting a, a seats in the center are better. Ours were, you know, we were also, we were gifted these seats from Feld Entertainment. So, um, but I thought they were great. They were a little higher up. We were row 16, which I thought was great because you could see more. Um, I think being more toward the center of the arena um, makes more sense because you can have a better view. The ones that were on the far end were a little harder to see. We could see them, but they were harder to see. Um, but then we had a really good vantage point of the ones that were close by. Um, but, you know, you really, there really wasn't a bad seat in the house. There really didn't, there weren't a lot of people. There was a few people, but there really weren't people like directly behind those, like the end zones, I guess you could say. Um, the show started, our show started at seven. It did start probably around 7.05. It was pretty close to seven. And then um, there was a 15 minute intermission around a little after eight. And then it we were at our car at 9.30. So, uh, and I just, we I went to the bathroom and then we left. Like we didn't waste a lot of time there. So we were, it was good two and a half hours. So I would say get there on time. Try to, cause there was a lot of people late. Like that's typical South Florida. Everybody's getting there late. Yeah, so it was a good, you know, two and a half hours that we were there, but Honestly, I think it's totally worth it. Um, I don't think a lot of people know that it's back um, or know what to expect. Again, I didn't know what to expect, but I thought it was fantastic. Um, I talked to the other family and they thought it was great too. I think everybody was there, was enjoying it. Um, I did take some pictures of the merchandise, like what was offered. So that's gonna be posted in my, um, in my blog. So I will post, I'll post the pictures of what, um, just, I just took pictures of the merchandise so you can see. Everybody was really liking those wands. Ryder got a, a, like a really long wand with a bubble. Um, he got that and then his friend's little brother got that as well. He loved it, like absolutely loved it. It lit up everything. It was great. Um, and then they also had like popcorn and can and candy that had like masks or they had like one with like a visor that had like a clown hair, rainbow clown hair. So those were really popular. The snow cone with the dragon was really popular. So this, the line for the snow cone was really long at intermission, like really, really long. Merchandise was hit or miss. Um, the merchandise, the places that were behind like the end zones were like the ones like you we were passed by a merchandise after we left and it was packed like super long line but then there was a merchandise stand like right behind where the end zone would be and there was nobody there and that's just because there was really nobody sitting there so those were kind of empty um so just kind of word of advice like if you're looking for one maybe go down a little bit further where there was like an end zone that might be um, a little bit less people, but uh, I'll post pictures. There'll be a link in the description box below for that um, blog so that you can kind of look at the pictures if you're curious as to what merchandise will be offered, but they're expensive. It was expensive, but um, you know, how often do you go to the circus, right? So it was a lot of fun, highly recommend it. Um, and I think I really enjoyed it. And Ray didn't, he didn't love it but he doesn't like these types of things. He didn't hate it either. He said it was good. He said it was good, but um, you know, he didn't, he also wanted to watch Supercross and uh, he was there. So, um, but he, he enjoyed it. So I think that says a lot, but I thought it was great. I think, um, you know, it was great. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.